Okay, for this point of sale demonstration, we will be using an MC75 device and the Zebra RW220 mobile printer. The handheld and the printer are connected via Bluetooth. As I'm logging in to my point of sale application, I am being validated and authenticated against the existing point of sale system. Global Bay has the flexibility to integrate with SAP Traversity, Island Pacific, Raymark, CRS, or a custom system you may have in place. The first screen you see here is a customer lookup screen. I can look up my customer by name or phone number and then associate my scans and items to that customer. So I'm going to go ahead and start scanning items. Each scan is authenticated against your existing point of sale system. As you can see here, I can manually enter a SKU, I can enter multiple quantities, I can void items that have been entered in error, and I can also conduct an item lookup. By scanning or manually entering the SKU value, I can see which stores have the same item and the associated quantity. Now I can either suspend and retrieve my transaction or I can tender out using a credit card. Let's tender out using a credit card. I verify my amount and then using my Zebra printer, I can swipe my Visa credit card. Now the handheld is validating and my receipt will print. As you can see, this is a normal receipt that you would receive from a normal cash register. Now we'll do a suspend and retrieve. So we start the process the same way. We find our customer, select our customer, we add the items. I'll go ahead and show you how we can enter a multiple quantity. You see the item now has a quantity of three. Click on the payment tab, suspend. This will provide a receipt with a barcode on it that can be scanned. Here is my suspended receipt with a barcode at the bottom. Now I'll go ahead and scan that barcode. Start by selecting retrieve transaction. Scan the barcode. and then I can easily tender out using my credit card once again. Suspend and Retrieve helps line busting as well as accepting tenders such as debit or cash. And once again, we can wait for my receipt to print out. There it is. And my transaction is complete.